What's going on guys? My name is Jordan and welcome to Nicole J Productions. As you can probably tell by the title, I am doing a review on the pilot episode of Supergirl. Now this is the leaked version that came out earlier this year. So there could be a few changes that could have happened between when it was leaked uh, a few months ago to it being released either tomorrow or tonight or yesterday or whenever this video is released so there could be some changes you might be wondering why i keep saying leaked with these uh i don't know these are like bunny ear type things um the reason being is because it just happened to be leaked in okay i'm done with that now it just happened to be leaked in 1080p and that's unheard of as a leaked file like come on usually something that'll be leaked is like someone who records something on a phone and you get some crappy like 480p quality or whatever but this is in 1080p which makes me think that i think it was released intentionally it was probably a widely viewed thought about why this is like this uh reason being because i think they got some differing opinions on the trailer uh so they just decide to release the whole thing to just kind of get a gist of what people think about the pilot but without actually releasing it so this is targeted towards the few of you who actually haven't seen uh, the leaked pilot yet, which pretty much everyone has. It was so accessible that you could just Google it. It's everywhere. It's probably still there. You can probably check it out now. I'm going to keep this uh, review uh, very spoiler-free, although it was actually very hard to spoil it now with the trailers that have been released, especially that first uh, look at it, that first, like, six-minute preview of it. It... It pretty much showed you the entire episode from start to finish, so just keep that in mind. Like You've seen the episode, so it's very hard for me to actually tell you something that you don't already know, but I will keep it low-key uh, just to be on the safe side. So this is from the same guys who are behind you know, TV shows like The Flash and Arrow, and I'm a huge fan of those two shows, like big fan of comic book type uh, TV shows and movies. I wasn't really a big comic book reader in the past, but I'm really into all the adaptations of them. So I'm also quite excited to see uh, Supergirl as this is like a new adaptation kind of thing. Of course, as you can probably tell, this is the, the first female-centered uh, superhero show. So there's going to be quite a few changes from, like, The Flash. And that change in tone is very evident in the pilot. As it's got more of a girly type chick flick feel kind of thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just got a very different feel from other shows that we are used to. Uh, but you can tell it's marketed more towards a female audience. So that is something just to keep in mind. It begins kind of like how The Flash or Arrow start off on their episodes. You know, they have the whole voiceover introducing the character and whatnot. Uh, of course, this being the the pilot episode, it's longer than I'm assuming that the regular episode one will have, uh, but just basically explaining that uh, she's Superman's cousin, was sent after him, but after being sent off, she was caught in the Phantom Zone for 24 years, and for those of you who don't know, the Phantom Zone is uh, an area in space where time doesn't pass, so yeah, she got stuck there for that long, and she didn't age at all, so although she... When she left, she was older than Superman. When she actually arrives on Earth, uh, she's younger, and Superman's already established. So there she has to grow up knowing that her cousin is already, like, super famous, the hero of the world kind of thing. And that's, like, quite some big shoes to fill. She basically grows up with the intention of just being a normal person, trying to hide her powers, and just... Yeah, just blending in with everyone else, which of course changes when some catastrophic event happens during the episode, which like I said, you would know what it is if you would watch the trailer. Of course, once that event takes place, of course, she's exposed herself, she can't go back, and now she's fully pursuing herself to be Supergirl. Of course, this pilot, like other pilots, it it, it isn't perfect. It's got some issues, of course. Something that annoyed me a little bit was the whole emphasis on like, like oh she's like a superhero but she's a girl like you know there's there's kind of lines that really emphasize that and i'm like okay keep that to the pilot i know it has to be addressed that it's something we don't usually see but i kind of want it to be more implied rather than announced you know it's like oh look girl power did you see that did you see that like 
keep it down. I want it to be more kind of a thing where you can watch. It's like, wow, look at her. Like, because she's an inspiration or whatever. I don't need someone to keep telling me that because that's what would really get on my nerves. It's like, okay, we get it. Move on with the story. So we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping that it just kind of sticks to the pilot with the emphasis. Uh, but that's kind of an annoyance I had with it. Now, tone-wise, it's very interesting here in the pilot. Uh, the regular daytime things, the activities in which, you know, you just see her as Kara working at this uh, news station or newspaper or whatever. I, I should really be paying more attention to that kind of stuff. Anyway, the regular, like, daytime human stuff, it really takes on the tone of The Flash. It's, like, fun. It's... It's, it's kind of cheesy, though. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cheesy, but it's, it's got more of a, a fun atmosphere, uh, similar to The Flash. Uh, however, when it comes to the action scenes, it takes on more of a, a tone like you would see in Arrow. So it's interesting how they kind of just, like, mix the two together uh, to create this new show. So it's got, like, uh, two conflicting tones, depending on what kind of scene it is. Uh, so that's cool. I just hope in the course of the season that it'll actually make sense together. If it bounces too much like that, it may be a little distracting and confusing how it's set up, uh, but it was interesting to see this new concept take place kind of thing. And also, yeah, the, the fight scenes themselves, they're they are pretty cool. However, they will need to get uh, like creative with how they use her in uh, fighting scenarios like they do with the Flash and Arrow, I know I keep comparing the two, but they are by the same people, and it's kind of the next show in their whole series kind of thing, so it's kind of impossible not to compare them. But yeah, they do need to be uh, creative with how they handle it throughout the season, just because there's only so many times that you can have Supergirl be punched through a wall or, or kick someone through another wall. It'll get repetitive over time. I mean, it's kind of the same story in Man of Steel, you know, the action scenes were cool, but then they just kept going and going and going. As you take, like, a fight between two indestructible beings, and you can only really bash them through so many buildings and walls before it gets repetitive. And that's kind of how Man of Steel, and it got like, a little repetitive as it went along. Because, like, okay, we get it. You guys are indestructible. <laughs> just, just end it already. Like, figure out a way to end it, because... There's no, like, change in rhythm, and I really want to see them work with that in the season of Supergirl. And it'll be interesting uh, how they separate, you know, this show as opposed to their other shows. But I do think, without a doubt, this show will just skyrocket if they can actually implement crossovers with their other shows, The Flash and Arrow. It may be a bit tricky, though. Uh, they're saying don't expect crossovers anytime soon, so maybe not at all in season one unfortunately, because I really think it would benefit tremendously uh, from being paired with The Flash or Arrow. Like, imagine imagine a kind of Batman v Superman parallel if you had, like, Green Arrow versus Supergirl. Wouldn't that just be, like, the coolest episode? So, I think this has potential. It wasn't the greatest pilot, um, had a bunch of flaws, a little bit too pushy on the whole girl power thing, but I think this could uh, get better as it goes along, kind of like how the Flash went. So are you guys going to see Supergirl Monday night, or have you already seen it uh, previously, depending on when you watch this video? Um, if you've seen it already, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and let me know if you think it actually has potential to be up there with other shows like The Flash, Arrow, and even like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I'd love to hear what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you're new here, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos like this and other videos as well, as we're trying to make this quite the variety channel to reach as many people as possible. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time on the Gojir Productions.